I'm Elodie O'Rourke. I'm, I am uh, the head of customer success at the Financial Times. Uh, I am uh, working in the B2B department and more specifically looking after the EMEA region, so Europe, Middle East and Africa. And we are helping out our corporate customers to get the maximum value with their FT subscription, which is not only FT.com, but we are also selling other products uh, that we are currently developing at the moment. Well, the first factor would be uh, when the customers are on the right fit. Uh, so they actually uh, purchase your service or your product for the wrong reasons. It's coming from the relationship they had with the salesperson when there wasn't a clear communication on their needs or on the outcome of the product. So it can very much happen that people, they are actually also buying the service sometimes just it's a way it depends with the culture as well. But in some countries, people have a hard time to say no, and they actually buy the service to stop the relationship with the salesperson. So when the customer success team comes on board, it's really difficult because you can't properly onboard the client which actually leads to the second factor, which is when people can't be uh, onboarded properly, uh, you lose the momentum and then they cannot really get the maximum value they could get from your service or your product. Also, sometimes it's uh, because you have the wrong stakeholder. And uh, so many, many times we are dealing with procurement people and their job is to purchase a service or a product and once their job is done their job is done so they don't really uh, mind if the product is not used properly because their job is only to purchase the service or the product and this is one of our main challenge at the financial times because many many times we are dealing with people who are not using the financial times not even reading the financial times because many times they don't even speak english and because we are an english uh, speaking publication uh, if you are dealing with a procurement person or even a librarian who doesn't speak English, I mean, for them, it's not crucial if people, they are not using the service. So if people are not using the service, they are not adopting the product or the service, then it's really difficult to actually prove to uh, the decision makers at the end that they actually need you. So it's a bit of a gun and the egg situations, but um, that's why I think that most uh, customer success influencers are right to say that actually churn is a company-wide responsibility because it comes, it starts at the very beginning of the sales relationship when the, the salesperson is selling the product to ensure that they are talking to the right people, they have the right stakeholders, and then it's also the relation, you know, the responsibility of the product team to ensure that the product they are uh, actually the usability is there, that actually the customer do need this product, because if you do create product that no one needs, I mean, you will have a problem at some point as, as well. But yeah, the, these are, I would say, the main factors. The risk uh, score must be very uh, down to the specific product or service you are selling. I don't think that there is a one size uh, fit all, you know, in terms of what is your service. So for instance, um, at the Financial Times, it depends if we are talking about an ex what we call an access license, when we actually give access to the Financial Times to, an let's say, an entire organization, then our product would be the Financial Times FT.com because we are only focusing on FT.com. We are not, uh, the customer success team doesn't uh, deal with the paper prints. When it comes to KPIs and how we do measure, when it comes to our, uh, let's say the end users, so the, the readers, we need to look at the engagement. So are they actually using the service? Do they access the license? Do they actually log in, use their FT.com access? Are they reading articles? Do they follow topics? You know, that type of uh, things. And then when it comes to the license administrators, you have to uh, look at are they using the enterprise tools, but their administration platform, do they, let's say, I don't know, download uh, analytics reports, are they using specific features? So it's very down to your product, your service, but it has to be very linked to your customer needs and what the what your product and your service is solving. I think the main one would be uh, the health core in terms of engagement, everything that is done to the usage, because if people are not using your service anyway, at some point there is a risk. Also, I think you should take into consideration how 
often you are engaging with your customers as a customer success team. The less engaged or responsive your customers are when you are trying to book meetings with them, it should be a red flag, for instance, if they don't want to talk to you and why. And also probably every uh, thing that is done to customer satisfaction in general. So it, depending how you would measure that, if it's NPS or CSAT or depending on your product, for me that these are the main KPIs you should be considering. I would say that the organization is, uh, any organization is a team. And as a team, it's, it's a little bit like in sport, let's say a football uh, team. It's not only one player who's winning the game, it's the entire team. And for a corporate organization or any organization, it's exactly the same mindset. I mean, if you are a very successful salesperson, it can work. But up to a certain point, you do sell a product and you don't take into account your customer's feedback. Let's say, oh, dear organization, I would love to have this feature implemented. Would it, would it work for you? So if you can do it and if you don't do it, it's also the problem and the responsibility of the product team. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, if they come to you and they say, well, thank you, dear organization, but six months ago, I asked you about a specific feature, it's still not there. And I really need that feature to uh, be uh, using uh, better your product. And if they cancel, it's not only your fault, it's not anybody's fault, but the product team. So it's kind of a common work. And that's why uh, avoiding working in silos is crucial and mm -hmm. very important, because otherwise everybody is doing their own little thing in their corner and then you end up working in silos and then it's like and how does it look when you're talking to customers you don't even know what your marketing team does or what your product team does so you have to look as a team and then when you are working properly as a team then everybody should be responsible and accountable for a term for sure i think it's also the the responsibility of the customer success leaders to uh, evangelize their organization and try to uh, to make everybody understand that uh, it's in everybody's interest to actually have a customer centric approach because uh, if you do not take into account the customer needs at the end of the day they are, the customers are buying a product and if nobody is buying your product there is no business yeah a work in progress because we recently appointed a customer success uh, operation a customer success manager uh, focusing only on operation and we are reviewing all our kpis all our metrics all our um, you know the life cycle the checkpoints uh, and we, because we are quite a large organization, even if it doesn't look like it, we are trying to be consistent across all region and uh, this person is talking to everyone. So it's still very much. Also the regional focus is something that really, that is really important to us at the moment. In an ideal world, you should start thinking about renewal from day one, because it's all about the customer experience. Put yourself in, the, you are a customer, I am a customer every day, you are a customer from many different organizations. Okay. And sometimes when you put yourself in the shoes of the customer, you do pay for certain services that are sometimes more expensive than others without giving you more, other than the great relationship you have Imagine if you buy a product or let's say you subscribe to, I don't know, like a streaming platform, let's say, yeah. and then you have a horrible experience from scratch, like it doesn't work, you can't log in, you can't access the content properly, and you try to reach out to someone, no one cares about you, and then what would happen? Even if you try hard for a week and you know that your subscription is renewing in a year and you're stuck for a year, you would stay because you're stuck but then you will cancel anyway. So that's why for me, the renewal process, at least for the customer success team, for real, should start from day one, because if you mess up the onboarding, that's not great. Actually applying uh, myself is, uh, now I'm not a customer success manager, talk, well, I'm still talking to customers, but not as often as I used to be in the past. What I'm trying to do is to actually be the customer success manager of my organization. So trying to understand the needs of my organization, my uh, stakeholders, it's exactly the same uh, intellectual process. So I'm trying to uh, 
uh, nurture and build my relationship with my internal stakeholders, trying to understand where they are coming from, which are the, the problem they are trying to solve and how customer success, my function, the customer success team, can help them to overcome their challenges and their function. It's exactly the same process. Basically, my internal stakeholders are my customers, but I'm having the very same uh, mindset. And that's my tip because actually it's it's working quite well and people, they do tend to um, appreciate when you take the time to listen to their problems in general. So they're like, oh, actually someone is interesting in hearing about my challenges. So they're quite open about it and they quite like the fact that you actually take the time to understand where they are coming from and generally trying to help them out.